but it's quite a challenging one. So we are given information about an arithmetic pattern as well as a geometric. They tell us that the first term of both sequences is 1. So we know that term 1 for this one is 1 and term 1 for this one is also equal to 1. Then they say that the first, third and thirteenth terms of an arithmetic sequence are the first three terms of a geometric sequence. So the third term in the arithmetic is the same as the second term of the geometric. And then the thirteenth term of the arithmetic is the same as the third term of the geometric. Make sure that when you've read this, you understand what I've just done. They said that the first, third, and thirteenth, here I've got them, they are the first, second, and third of the geometric. Okay, so that's all I've done there. What I would now do is use the formula for an arithmetic and also the formula for a geometric. And so for term three of the arithmetic, this one over here, that would simply be equal to a plus 3 minus 1 times d. So if you simplify that, that'll be a plus 2d. For term 13, it'll be a plus 13 minus 1 times d, which is a plus 12d. Oh, but we know what a is. Remember, a is 1. So we can go change all of these to a 1. And then for the geometric, for term 2, that would be a times r to the 2 minus 1, and now term 3 would be a times r to the 3 minus 1. And then we could simplify. We know that a is 1. So that's just 1 times r, because 2 minus 1 is 1. And then this one will be r times 2, or 1, if you would like to write it there, because a is 1. So let's just highlight what we now have. We've now got this equation, this equation, this equation, and this equation. But... So we can say that 1 plus 2d is the same as r. The reason I say that is that they said that this term is the same as this term. Then my other equation that I could say is 1 plus 12d is the same as r squared, because this must be the same as this. They told us that. And so here we have it, guys. We can use simultaneous equations on these two. So here we already have r alone r is equal to 1 plus 2d, so I'm going to plug that into this equation. So we're going to end up with 1 plus 12d equals 2, and then here we can replace this with 1 plus 2d squared. And now we just solve. So 1 plus, two, I'm going to just multiply this out, so it'll be 1 plus 4d plus 4d squared, if you had to make this into two brackets. Then it's going to become a trinomial, so we're going to get 4d squared minus 8d Oh, but luckily the 1's cancel, and so we get that. We can then take out d as a common factor. You can take out a 4 if you want as well, but it's not really going to make a difference. I'm just going to take out a d, and you'd be left with 4d minus 2. Sorry, not 2, 8. And so we get d equals to 0, or d equals to 2. Now that we have d, we can work out a. I mean r because r is over here. So r is equal to 1 plus 2d. So if d is equal to 0, then r would be 1 plus 2 times 0, which is equal to 1. If d is equal to 2, then r would be equal to 1 plus 2 times 2, and so r would be 5. I would just like to highlight something, though. They said that Determine the first three terms of the geometric sequence if r is bigger than 1. So if r is 1, that's not allowed. So this one is a no solution, which means that that d is also a no solution. d equals 0 is no solution. So the only valid one that we can use is this one over here. Now they want the first three terms of the geometric. So we know that term 1 is already 1. Term 2 was this one, so it'll be 1 times r, which is 5, and that'll just give us 5. And then term 3 would be 1 times 5 to the power of 2, which is 25. 
And so those would be the first three terms of the geometric sequence.